Welcome back. Uh, it's uh, what day did I say it was earlier? But it's the same day. Now we're just doing <laughs> something different. Yeah. Okay? We're chipping away at our list here. I just uh, uh, X'd off the power steering. That's what we just finished. And uh, what do we got to do now? Ooh, we're going to put a radiator in this thing. Sweet. All right. So this list, that's really like what, maybe half of what you really do? Yeah. It's kind of condensed. It's a condensed so version. When your friends and family are uh, bugging you and they say, why is, why is he out in the garage till three o'clock every morning? Uh, it's because of that list. And that's why your checking account is depleting <laughs> uh, penny by penny. Yeah. Because of that list. Because each one of those things is takes money. Yeah. But it's uh, well worth the cause, right? Yes. Yes. Anything to keep these trucks going. That's what we do. Yeah. So we're going to put a radiator in this truck. I always try to come up with like a, a simple way to do it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show people how we do it. Maybe they have different ways to do it. They'll tell us about it. But uh, we'll, yep. we'll talk about the way we do it, okay? Okay. Uh, this is the uh, radiator support out of that 2005 um, Suburban that we took everything out of. Okay. And that piece usually sits in there just like that, okay? And if you ask somebody nicely uh, to take a, a cutter and have them cut it out for you, mm -hmm. okay? And cut that piece out. The bar that you cut off there, it's real defined. You just need this, this bottom uh, section, that piece, okay? Okay. And then these radiator supports, they are in everything from like 2000 on up into 2000, probably, 15 or so they're probably all the same yeah or they, right? they would be but usable. there's a bazillion of them out there and you can go get them at a Scrap like yard. a u-pullet or a salvage yard or whatever yeah and you can get one if you need one sweet so we cut that out uh i end up having to i go into the the first hole we cut this out uh, because that ends up rubbing on the, the fender well and You'll notice there's two holes on each side. Uh, these trucks, you could have a uh, just a standard radiator, or if it had, if it was a suburban and had rear air, it would have a uh, heavy-duty radiator in it, which is well, a wider core. And that's what we're going to use is the heavy-duty one, just because we can, right? Yep. And we, I've used that on uh, all of them that we do, even the uh, pre-73 or 72 through 67 trucks. Yeah. Same thing. And it actually, th I think those trucks, this method actually even works better in those trucks. Yeah, okay. I know the 70, just everything just fit right into place. Yeah, and it sat on the other radiator support a lot nicer mm -hmm. without any other support underneath it, I think, so. Yeah. But it, it, it works great on this too, so. The original radiator sat on a couple of uh, rubber uh, snubbers right here. So I just take this uh, It lays on top of that original uh, radiator support pretty nicely on uh, These square body models. There's some space underneath here and I usually put a, a shock uh, spacer underneath it, but I'm out of them. So I'm going to use a, a big uh, three-quarter inch bolt uh, Just to take up some space All right, so this is my radiator that I used to mock up all this stuff so I go ahead and Set it in its holes uh, This one I already have its center position marked and uh, you can almost just eyeball it with the center of the water pump um, shaft. So that's where I want it sitting. I actually go ahead and I put it all together with the fans, fans and everything. Yeah. Just to double check it. But this is fine when it's centered, it, everything works out okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I mark this before I pull it out of there. And then down here on these, on the old supports, there's a nice spot for uh, to drill a couple holes. You can get to them from underneath. 
that one's a little oblong because I kind of screwed up. But this one here is perfect. So I drill, I drill a hole, a three eighths hole through there. All right. I put my piece down. Uh, I go up underneath and I mark it and then I drill up through there. So all I'm going to do now is take some fairly long bolts. I'm going to put a couple spacers underneath here. That's what I usually use. Those aluminum shock uh, uh, spacers work great on those, but same thing. That's probably about uh, three probably. quarters of an inch. Oh, probably five eighths, yep. three quarters. Okay. So, and then you see it kind of takes up that amount of space. Yeah. But it ends up making this sit up just a little bit so the actual radiator supports actually fit in the holes. Okay? Sweet. So. Okay, so I go in from underneath and uh, all I got to do from that point underneath is uh, put a, a washer and a lock washer and a nut on it and uh, I tighten that into place and uh, that's my new uh, radiator support, okay? Awesome. I like, using, I like using these because they're the same for like the Suburban Chevy trucks. It's a, a super common part. You can replace this radiator no problem. If you wanted to buy a high performance radiator or a bigger one or something, you could you could do that. You just order one for, you know, Chevy truck or Suburban, whatever. But it'll, it'll work using this system. It's not something that you're going to have to modify someday, like if the radiator went bad or yeah. uh, something like that. So, And it's an inexpensive way to do it. Um, so from this point, since I got it in there, I'd want to make sure my height was okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll just put everything together, okay? Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Right. So I'm going to zip tie it just so it doesn't flop around any, okay? And it sits nicely against the radiator support all right the i'm gonna put a ho the lower hose on it another reason why i like the um the bigger radiator um, on these trucks um, with the, the lower hose okay look at all the clearance that you have around everything it, it looks like it was built for this truck, you know. We're going to put uh, electric cooling fans on this pickup. Uh, there's the lower transmission cooling line. The, there's the upper, all right. Yeah. The cooling fans, this is a wire loom for them. And um, all the General Motors products, the, um, the wire loom for it, it's... Uh, it's fastened to the bottom of that core support right here so so it'll be held there and it'll be held here just like it would have on a, on a 2005 so that's kind of cool those are there for you already made this would be the uh, stock electric cooling fans for that truck. Okay, how's that look? Perfect. Right, all right. And you can also see here, uh, my power steering line, uh, it runs between the fan, uh, the electric fan and that uh, perfectly. There's, there's no, it's not uh, pushed up against it or anything. It's got just the right amount of clearance. Okay. Okay. All right. So, and then uh, to hold everything together, because this truck's not going to have zip ties in it permanently. So, this is what I do on this one. Also, we, all the, the electric shroud holds this uh, everything together on this truck since it's mounted on the front of it. So, I take the stock shroud 
Um, I spent a couple hours last night painting it up. Oh yeah. Making it look really nice. Mm -hmm. And I add a couple tabs to it back here that hold the uh, hold the fan shroud uh, towards the front of the truck. Okay. And it'll end up getting bolted in here. I'll get some bolts. So, I'm gonna just do this temporarily, all right? Okay. Because I have to take this back apart so I can do the uh, air take on it. But, let's cut that zip top. So, that's it. All right, the radiator's installed. Uh, the other reason I like the, the wider radiator is the part number for the upper radiator hose. It's the same for a standard radiator and a heavy duty one. You just oh. have to cut the hose down. Oh. So I think it, it fits better on the larger radiator. Yes, okay. so you don't have to cut it. Yep. Sweet. Oh, uh, yeah. This little tab goes in its original hole. Okay. And here's your steam, your steam line. And your vent for your overflow. Where's that going? Oh, that's right. So by using the radi that radiator, then I, I don't have to add like the steam, the steam port in, in the radiator hose or anything like that. Um, and like I said, when the day comes that it needs to be replaced or something like that, you can go to any parts store and walk in there and walk out with a radiator that will replace this radiator because they're so common. So yep, to yep. me, that's the way to do it, yep. right? And it, it bolts in <clears throat> as easy as it would in a 2005 Suburban, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. So that's it. That's it. Start it up. Yep. Uh, the other part of the cooling system is the hooking up the uh, heater uh, hoses. You'll have to get a three-quarter to five-eighths uh, adapter. These I buy, they're made by ICT, same people that make the mount um, for the, uh, the uh, motor, motor mounts. Mount adapter plates, yeah. yeah. So uh, three-quarter to five-eighths. Aluminum, I don't like plastic ones. Use an aluminum one. And uh, the other portion of the cooling system is the uh, coolant overflow bottle. I set it where, where I want it to sit, okay? In this case, it's... So I knew I wanted it sitting right there, so I come in and I have to make a bracket to make this thing uh, sit on something. So I make this bracket for it. It just bolts on in uh, two spots on the fender well, and then it bolts on to there, so it sits right there. Okay, can you see that? Maybe with my hands out of the way. And then I also make this bracket, and it sits 
on the back of the um, reservoir. Mounts right there. And then it, this reservoir also has another uh, mount on the uh, other side of it. And once everything's all bolted up, it'll be sitting in there nicely. And it has the three, three spots that it's sitting on. So it's held in there nice and firm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So on this pickup, that's how, that's how we did it on this one. Every truck is going to be different. Uh, like your brackets, whatever you're going to have to make. And, uh, this one, the battery, we left it in its usual position. Uh, we had to make a bunch of different mounts for, uh, to mount the computer over there, the uh, fuse panel, the uh, electrical box. And uh, I also have to still uh, find a, a new place for the uh, windshield washer bottle. But, oh. uh, but that's, one of the, that's one of the big tasks with doing these. Like yeah. all the brackets and making everything go where it needs to go. So Yeah, everybody so. likes to talk about, ooh, I got the engine in my truck last night, or bragging it up to their buddies, and then nobody ever says, I just spent four days making brackets. Yeah. The untold <coughs> story of LS swaps is mm -hmm. how or, long you make brackets. Yeah. So. But it's worth it. Yes. Right? Yes. It's time well spent and money well spent. Yes. You know? And also, if you do have a mechanical fan, that this does work with a mechanical fan too. Yeah. It's pretty close. Emily's 70's got a mechanical fan on it. And we put, we bought the stock fan shroud for the uh, whatever we got. The, it was out of a Tahoe. Yeah. And uh, we bought the stock plastic fan shroud. And all we had to do was, uh, what, trim it just a little bit? Yeah. But, but it did, it does fit. Where they the intake comes around it was a little tight right. but it was definitely it fit great yeah i i love i personally i love the electric fans in these um uh, it gives me a lot more room to work with i think and everything fits perfectly in here like if you look at it from this side um i mean it literally it, everything looks like it was designed to go into this pickup so yeah All right, so that's it for uh, doing the cooling system on a LS swap, uh, or that's the way we do it. You got some suggestions or you got some comments, please send them to us. Uh, we're trying, we're still trying to reach a million subscribers by the end of this month, so please hit the subscribe button, and uh, we really appreciate you watching our, our stuff. So thank you.